Hi, welcome to a product review and test by Robojax. In this video, we are going to do the test and review of this step down or back converter with LED display. This is labeled as Tussauds Tech, um, you might get it with a different label, but uh, this has been claimed with 10 ampere. We are going to do a test of all major voltages from 3.3, 5, 9, 12, 15, uh, 20, 24 and 30 volts input and output and also I'm going to show you the thermal image. After 20 minutes it's around 67 degrees. You see which spot of this device gets uh, the hottest and also continuously showing you the room temperature and maybe also the device temperature. Let's get started with this. Model it shows now 10 ampere back converter and meter input the DC input is 3.5 30 volts the output DC 0.3 to, to 0.8 to 29 10 ampere maximum here it says the model number is TS IPS V04 this item was purchased from eBay and here they have mentioned it at 10 ampere for nine dollars Canadian nine dollars twenty cents and then they have eight ampere so for nine dollar eighty two I will provide you the link in this case just open this screw and then pull this back it will be removed and here we have n plus minus this is the input these two wires and then this is the output plus minus so minus is at the middle and then we have here a display when you press it this light will turn on it shows the input voltage press it again it shows the output voltage this light will turn on and for the third time it just turns off if you don't want to see it this is a display chip that uh, displays the information on voltage here and the main inductor is here and these are the two uh, main semiconductor that handles the load this is a Schottky diode MBR2045CT this is a dual Schottky diode this is a dual Schottky diode MBR2045CTG and usually this is used in the switching power supplies and it is a dual diode uh, which has anode is here and cathode, cathode is at the middle so two anodes and this has been used as a parallel both of this this has been connected and uh, it acts as one diode and each diode can handle 10 ampere total will be 20 ampere they use it here and then this is the main uh, back converter XL4016 XL4016 this is the 8 ampere back converter by Excel Semiconductor and here Excel 4016 as you can see it has been rated as 8 ampere not 10 ampere and the switching frequency can be up to 180 kilohertz so the rest if you need it I'm going to provide you the link we have here a 15 ampere uh, fuse this is a 15 ampere fuse LED dial here when you connect it to the power this will turn on and we're using this screw this piece is pushing these two to this case which is aluminum and acts as a heat sink now I have connected it this is the input coming through this power meter that shows power current and voltage for the input and from here it's coming to this input the two wires and from here this goes to the load this is the electronic load DL3031 and these are the two terminal that from the circuit will be connected in here and we will see the voltage here and the current now let's test it as you can see the input voltage is 30 volts now let me just uh, change the output and we will see the output voltage in here and see what will be the minimum and what will be the maximum with 30 volts I'm going counterclockwise so 1.25 1.24 volts that's the minimum 
that it can go it doesn't go below so <coughs> let me go clockwise and we are reading it in here almost 30 volts so very little dissipation but this is keep in mind that this is without the load now I have set the input is 30 volts as you can see and the output is 24 volts this is the industry standard voltage I have set the current at 8 ampere let's turn it on 8 ampere is now dissipated So I will try to see if it can handle 8 ampere uh, at the output. So I will try to see if it can handle 8 ampere uh, at the output. 30 amp volts input, 24 volts output. As you can see, the voltage has dropped already. Let me fix it. So 24 volts at the output. I've adjusted this twice now, half a volt drop, so 8 ampere seems to be not working, it's very hot. Let me reduce it to 7. Now as soon as I change it to 7, you can see the voltage has increased. So I'm continuing with the remaining of this time. Now the input power is as you can see 5.7 ampere and as you can see and as you can see 76 degrees is the hot spot in here input voltage is 30 volts Output is 15 volts now. Seventy-four degrees, seventy-five at this spot. And it, it was able to handle as you can see almost twenty minutes. So this is pass. Now input 30 volts output 12 volts and 7 ampere as you can see the hot spot is again 75 degrees this is the regulator and it worked for 20 minutes at 7 ampere output 12 volts pass Input 30 volts, output 5 volts, 7 ampere as you can see. This is around around 80 degrees after 20 minutes. That's the hot spot. So 5 volts 7 ampere pass. Input 24 volts. Now we will try the first standard voltage of 15 volts 7 ampere. And here it shows 70 degrees. After about 19 minutes, 7 ampere. 15 volts output pass now input 24 volts output 9 volts 7 ampere as you can see the input is 72.5 watts 
and the output is 64.6 .6 watts. After 20 minutes, the hot spot is this coil. This one. Now input is 24 volts, output 5 volts, 7 ampere. As you can see, input power is 44 watts, 43.7, and the output is 36 watts. We'll go for 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, that's the temperature. 74, 75 degrees is at this spot. When input is 15 volts, output is 12 volts, 7 ampere. As you can see, the as you can see, the input power is 91 watt, 90.8 watts, and the output is 84.4 watts. Uh, let's give this 20 minutes. As you can see, it's 57 degrees at this point. Fifteen volts input, 5 volts output, 7 ampere. Let's have it for 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, as you can see, it's around 62 degrees Celsius. At this spot, twelve volts input, nine volts output, eight ampere. After about twenty minutes, it's around sixty seven degrees. volts input 5 volts output 10 ampere twelve volts input 5 volts output 7 ampere let's go for 20 minutes After about 20 minutes, 8 ampere, 5 volts output, at 12 volts input, pass. Nine volts input, five volts output, seven ampere. We go for about 20 minutes, 18 minutes. As you can see, it shows 65 degrees or 64 degrees at this spot. Five volts input, three point three volts output, seven ampere. <coughs> input power is thirty one point two watts, and output is twenty three point four seven watt at three point three volts output, five volts input. 7 ampere as you can see now this has been almost 20 minutes and I declare it as pass for conclusion we can say that this um, step down or back converter can handle 7 ampere continuously at the testers that I did at 30 volts uh, 24 volts, 15 volts, 12 volts, 9 volts, 5 volts, and I got all the same voltages up to 3.3 volts, about 7 ampere continuously. I did the test of about over 200 minutes, so this works perfect. And also, this display, 
is you have to tilt this otherwise from the top you will not be able to see it this is a very bad design but if you don't care about that and just use it as a uh, step down converter or back converter this works uh, reasonably good and this lower section which is a little thicker uh, can act as a good heat sink for this with 7 amp it's able to handle the load I was outside this has exploded and as you can see the capacitor is all out all the stuff from the capacitor have gotten out if you like this video and learn something please thumb up please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos if you have comment or question please post it at the uh, comment section below i try to answer and reply